Good morning. I'm going to walk you through Wednesday's activities here on our calendar. Starting with math, we have two seesaw activities that have to do with um, 3D shapes since we're learning about those this week. So I'm going to go ahead into seesaw. The first activity is just labeled 3D shapes. We'll click add response. And all you have to do is use the um, pen tool, the draw tool, you can use the highlighter tool, that is fine, um, to um, circle the correct answer. So this one says circle the picture of the cube. So they can go ahead and circle the cube. Once they get through everything, um, click the green checkbox and it will upload it to me. Okay. The next activity is a sorting activity, so let me get to that. Sorry while I scroll through things here. All right, the next one is a 3D shape sorting. Um, it'll tell you the different colors to sort the different shapes. Um, you don't have to write it down this time because it is up there for you. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so all the cylinders they want in pink. I'm gonna use my highlighter tool just because I like it better. I'm gonna pick a pink color and find shapes that are cylinders and circle them in pink the best that I can. My cones will be blue. Alrighty. Cubes will be this yellowish orange color. Whatever you choose is fine. And spheres will be green. Okay. So that's how they will complete that activity. You will click the green um, check mark over here. I'm not going to because it brings me back to a different spot. All right. Um, looking back at our calendar for reading. Today we're going to be making connections with the story that we read, and this piece of paper is in your packet. It's labeled Wednesday, April 22nd at the top, um, and it says, Sometimes readers make connections when they read. The tree was a special place for Alice. How would you feel if your special place has been destroyed? Explain your answer. Um, so this kind of just gets students thinking about how they can relate to the character Alice in the story. Um, obviously her tree um, was a special place for her and her family to go to and now it is dying. Um, so maybe there's a special place that your family visits. Um, maybe it's a vacation spot or um, a park that you go to or a restaurant that you always like to go to. Um, and I think this is great for right now because maybe the place hasn't been destroyed per se, but maybe it's just a place that you can't go to right now. So maybe um, your student has a place, um, for instance, Cedar Point is closed right now. It's not destroyed, but we can't go there right now with everything going on. Um, so maybe they can write about how they feel about not being able to visit this certain place right now. Uh, when you're finished with that, just take a picture of it and upload it to Seesaw. Our grammar activity is another pronouns activity. Again, if you need to review what pronouns are, you can click on the second slide here and review those. I'll show you that activity up here in Seesaw. Okay, it is possessive pronouns number two. All right, in the directions it says to use this move um, icon down here to move the correct pronoun into the correct sentence. Um, so the first one says, does she keep blank money in a piggy bank? My, our, your, their, her, its, his. And because it says she, the correct pronoun is her, does she keep her money in a piggy bank? 
So they will just drag and drop the correct answer into um, the correct sentence. When you're finished, you're going to click the green check mark so it's submitted. Again, I'm not going to do that um, at the moment. Um, and then today, um, lastly, there is a Raz Kids link where I would like your student to read a story and answer the questions for whatever story they are reading. Um, pretty easy day today. If you didn't get to reflex yesterday, maybe today is a day where um, you can go ahead and add that activity in or do one of your specials activities. Hope you have an awesome Wednesday.